Hi everyone, good morning. So I am now back in my home here in Metro Manila. So I actually just arrived last night. So I'm actually a little bit tired, but um, that tiredness actually went out the window when I saw this white package waiting for me um, in my home office. And these are the latest releases of Lisa Eldridge. So um, as I've discussed in my previous video, um, Lisa released new products mostly skincare so she has a cleanser and a facial mist out and that's what we will be trying today so um i also got two other um, products from her it's actually also um two colors from her luxuriously lucent lip colors so let's get on with today's video and let's unbox this together all right so let me rip this portion of the box let's see look at that always very consistent and oh let's open this so we have the cleansing um towelettes if i am correct yeah yeah cleansing and exfoliating cloths then this is the treatment cleanser now this is the face mist and of course, two of the luxuriously decent lip colors. And of course, a um, foundation card. So um, I'm quite excited to try this out because there's actually one color that I wanted to try. It's actually the color number nine, I believe, if my memory serves me right. Because this is the one that has olive tones in it and I have an olive undertone in my skin. But I think this might just be too light for me at the moment because I have some color in my skin. Ah, and also one other thing that I saw in the box is this um, mini size of the treatment cleanser. So isn't that cool? So is this going to be a um, thing? Like, you know, like a travel size thing? Because I kind of I kind of want this, especially in my kit. Like, you know, just so that it's very easy for me to carry around because I carry a lot of bottles in my makeup kit. And sometimes, um, like, you know, these types of sachets, I do appreciate. All right, so um, what I'm going to be doing first is I would like to apply a full face of makeup today and I'm going to be using a lot of um, Lisa Aldridge products like you know foundation, um, eyeshadow, blush, uh, things like that. Of course lip color and um, we'll try how the face mist um, feels like and of course we're also going to try the treatment cleanser because that's the purpose of our video today. All right, so I already have all my skincare down except for my sunscreen. So I'm going to apply that a little bit later in the video. And the main reason why I'm doing that is because when I was like, you know, reading about uh, the skin and makeup enhancing mist and going through the ingredients list, like for example, the hero ingredients that she says that's available in this product is actually niacinamide, aloe vera leaf juice, multi moist clear, film XL, and eight amino acid complex. But if you go to the main ingredients list, one of the ingredients listed there is actually lactic acid. So that one in itself is an AHA. So that really helps, like you know, your skin become brighter, and it lets it has almost like you know certain anti aging um, qualities um, to it. So. When I read that, I said to myself, oh, then this is just more than a facial mist. It's like, in essence, an essence. Like, you know, so that's the main reason why I actually skipped my sunscreen because I would like to apply this first before my sunscreen so that whatever active ingredients is in this product will just be sealed by the time I apply the sunscreen. So this is how the packaging of her face and makeup enhancing mist looks like. It's very pretty. This is a very Lisa Eldridge color, white and gold. And I think this is in a tin kind of a pack packaging, metal packaging. And we have this very nice, beautiful golden cap, of course, with her um, logo there on top. So this is how the mister looks like. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Okay, one more time. Oh, wow. So the mist of this is actually very fine. I don't know if you're able to see it on screen, but it's actually very fine. And you don't really get a lot of product on your face in one go. So you can build on the um, application of this product which is actually great because sometimes there are some facial mists there in the market that as soon as you press uh, the pump 
it just like you know delivers a lot of product than necessary on the face so you would end up having to remove it but with this one it feels just right just right and i think that's one of the um like you know uh core um values of lisa that she puts into her product is that when you pump it out you don't get a lot of it but you just get the right product and if you need more you can always add more so uh, what i feel on my skin right now after applying the facial mist is that i felt a little bit of some tightening um, on it because after all this has film excel so it's one of her like you know trademark in her product line so you find this on her highlighter and you also find this in her foundation now there's no scent at all to the facial mist if you're someone who's sensitive to perfume this is good for you so now that the mist has actually dried on my skin what i'm going to do is now i'm going to apply my sunscreen so that this will just lock everything in place and um Truthfully, I don't use um, primers on my skin and the main reason why is because my sunscreen actually has film forming capabilities that creates a film over my skin and it's because of that ability that I consider this to be my primer because it just creates a very nice canvas, like an even canvas on my skin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit for five minutes and then let's proceed with the makeup application. All right, so at this point of the video, I'm going to be applying a full face of makeup and I'm going to be starting by using the Lisa Eldridge foundation. This is in number 16 and I'm just going to uh, apply a thin layer of this all over my skin using this flat brush. And I am hoping that this will still match me because I have some color now on my skin because I was swimming in the beach while I was in my home in the province. So um, I hope this still works. But if not, we can always adjust it with some bronzer just to warm up everything. Now, by the way, I am shooting in natural light as always. So this is what you will see when you will see me walking on the street wearing makeup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom over the makeup process because um, I don't want to make this um, video to be a little bit too long and all of the products that I'm using are going to be listed down on the description box or you can see it flashed here um, as I go along okay all right so I actually want to use Lisa's blush and I have here pink poetry but I think it has dried out because I have actually not kept it in my kit for uh, using because I found that when I transferred it to the airless pump that I have here it was actually quite difficult to pump out the color so instead let's try something today so I am just applying the uh, blush here on my palette here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit of the mist on it and let's see if it will get reactivated like you know just become a little bit more watery and creamy and let's see if that will work well i can see that it's like you know activating so let's try to see if i'll be able to blend this well into my cheeks so let me just mix it all together okay and i have here a yachio brush and let me just pick up some of that and apply it on my cheeks okay i think i loaded way too much and let me just blend that out oh that's great at least it got reactivated i like the face mist for that it is actually a makeup enhancing product so at least like you know if you have some cream products that have like you know dried up a bit you can use this to just you know reactivate it I have to say, even if I haven't, um, you know, used this color in a long time, it has just like been sitting in my shelf. The color is still quite vibrant and it's still very color true. Okay, so let me apply that here on my other cheek now. Beautiful color, beautiful, still very beautiful color until this day. All right, so let's continue and zoom through the makeup.
so I'm actually done with my full face of makeup on and um, I'm liking how it looks it's very nice and very gentle and um, what I want to do now is I just want to spray my face one more time with a uh, skin and makeup enhancing mist and I do have to say I appreciate this um, skin and makeup enhancing mist because um, as I've said in previous videos I don't really use a lot of face mist when I do makeup because um, these types of um, products are relatively new in the market and it's just like you know really boomed recently and um, like you know there are some um, facial mists in the market where it actually does nothing it just has glycerin in it and water so um, it really has nothing special but at least with this it has like you know glycerin it has water it has film excel and and it has a lot of active ingredients that i think it's actually worth it to have in your kit and again it looks very elegant it is very very lovely and i do again love the way it just like you know works well in synergy with a lot of lisa's makeup and as i've shown you guys earlier i was able to actually activate one of the blushes that has actually dried out just by mixing a few spritz of this with that so i really love that i really love that so i was very very happy with that oh and by the way i did use um the new lipstick so this is the luxuriously lucent lip color in kitten mischief which is actually very nice and perfect for this makeup look that I created using the Muse palette with the Bianca eyeshadow and I also did try the other luxuriously lucent lip color and it was in the color Night Thoughts which is actually a very pretty color and it um, I believe worked very well with this look and that would be perfect to use if you want to like you know be vampy or maybe if you want to wear that for like you know the autumn season it's actually very very pretty all right so now at this point of the video I am going to be talking about the um, skin enhancing treatment cleanser from Lisa and of course what we're going to do is we're going to remove this makeup to see um, if it really um, like, you know lives up to its expectations but knowing Lisa and knowing her sentiments I'm sure this will really work well now what made me so excited about this cleanser is that when she said in her video that you don't need to double cleanse when you're using her skin treatment I said ah I gotta try that because like you know for me when I am making videos like this I double cleanse triple cleanse sometimes because it just depends on the makeup look that I am doing and also one other thing I was thinking like if I don't need to double cleanse with this product like you know when I am on set especially when I am on when I am on location and we don't have facilities where you can wash your face things like that I think um, this product can be very very helpful especially if you have the cleansing towels with you so um that's what we're going to be trying out today but before i talk about this uh, one thing do that i have to say is that when i am cleansing my face i actually use um, coconut oil so this is uh, virgin coconut oil and I trust me that's the one that I really love and it just really, really removes all of the gunk from my face and uh, what I actually do is that when I apply this on my face I actually use a cleansing towelette as well so I have here a microfiber towel and this is what I use to erase my face so the process that i'm going to be doing today is nothing really um, different from what i usually do when i clean my face and also one other thing i can already um, see some people like you know reacting when i lifted this virgin coconut oil um, there is a dermatopathologist who i believe in who has researched virgin coconut oil and she has said that the only time coconut oil reacts to the skin and is when it has been heated or um, the scent has been removed from it because it actually alters the chemical composition of the coconut oil but um, one other thing i'm also filipino so coconut coconut oil coconut water coconut meat is actually in the food that i eat but anyway that's another topic for another vlog so i digress let's return back to lisa's um, treatment cleansers so this has a lot of very nice active ingredients so if you want to know more about this um, you have to go and check her blog out or her vlog so that you can just you know get into the depth of the reasons why she decided to put those hero ingredients in this by the way it comes with a seal so you have to remove that before you actually apply or you know use this product so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to squeeze one blueberry size cleanser 
here on the palm of my hand. It's not very runny. It has a gel-like type of a consistency. Almost like, you know, the consistency of honey, I have to say. And does this have a scent? Yes, it does. Well, to me, it smells like, you know, really nutty. And she says in her vlog that this is how it really smells like. When you put all the ingredients together. And I do love the consistency that I feel of this product on my um, face. So I'm just doing everything all at once. And I'm just doing this on the half of my face first. And I'm just rubbing everything gently into my eyes. And there, there's one thing that I have noticed with this product is that it doesn't sting my eyes. And I do love how the product really feels on my face. And while I'm doing this, I'm just like, you know, massaging my face. I know, like, just like, really rubbing it in. And I'm just letting the cleanser do the job. I can feel it quite hydrating on my skin right now. And I can feel it quite moisturizing as well, which is actually quite similar to what I feel when I use virgin coconut oil. Now, I'm sorry if I keep on repeating, comparing this to what I feel when I use virgin coconut oil as a cleanser. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because... That's the only thing that I can compare it to. It actually feels very pleasant on my skin uh, because sometimes with virgin coconut oil, it really heats up on the skin. So if it's a very hot sunny day like this or like, you know, because it's the summer season here in the Philippines now, it just seems to be very, very hot. Like, you know, it makes me sweat. But with this one, it's very pleasant. It has a slight cooling feeling that I like. And that's that. Okay, so let's try using the towel now. Is let me just remove one from the packaging here. So the name of this is the Luxuriously Gentle Cleansing and Exfoliating Cloth. So um, what I want to do, okay, I want to use the um, this side of the towel now, which has more texture in it. So this is the one that we're going to use to remove the makeup on the face. And um, I do have to say that in tandem with the makeup cloth, it's actually very easy to remove the eye makeup. Now, the cloth feels very, it feels soft, but not very, very soft because to me, the softest cleansing cloth that I have is from Guerlain. Um, I got this for free when I bought like some Abiel Royale like a few um, months ago and I actually use this in my eye area. So usually when I remove makeup, um, I soak this with micellar water, especially when I am um, using um, like, you know, um, waterproof mascara, things like that. So I just use this like I would use a um, cotton pad. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just applying more of the cleansing balm that's here left on my hand. And I'm just going to apply it here on my eye. And I'm just going to use this because I'm so used to it. And I love that I can just like, you know, insert my finger into it. And I'm just going to run that through my eyes. Hmm. Alright, yeah, so it removed everything. So the first application of the cleanser from Lisa actually did the initial removal. And like, you know, even... Um, a second application was not necessary because um, there's some residue left, but not a lot, if you know what I mean. So the first um, cleanse actually does the job, and I'm actually quite impressed. Huh. All right, so let me remove the rest of my face now. So let me get my girl on cleansing wipe now and let me just run it through my eyes and mind you i did use an eye base from nars so it was quite a strong um, eye makeup look in, in terms of uh, product usage but in just like that it has removed all the eye makeup from my eyelashes, especially like, you know, the uh, waterproof mascara. Mm, it's very nice, very impressive. Okay, and now with the cleansing towelette, I'm just gonna remove everything. 
All right, so my process of removing makeup right now is like, you know, the process that I would remove makeup when I'm on set and when I'm on location because on Lisa's video, there was actually like, you know, some hot water involved just to remove everything. So at least that's also one of the ingredients that we have to um, consider when we are using the cleanser. So you would need warm water, by the way, not hot, warm water to fully remove the makeup because that's how it is. Um, when you're removing makeup anyway you're always like you know either on the sink or on the shower and um since i don't have that right now at my disposal here in front of me when i'm doing this i'm going to do what i usually do when i'm at work and i'm just going to spray the cleanser now with some evian because i think that will just like you know activate the cleanser so that, but this will just like you know really break down all of the makeup and the cleanser residue from the face. Okay, there you go. You can see that it has already emulsified a bit uh, with whatever remaining makeup product on the face gets fully removed. Hmm. Everything is here on the towelette. Oh, that's actually quite great. Okay, and that's it. No, I can feel that my skin feels quite supple. It also feels very hydrated. You can see that there's a little bit of tackiness going on, so my skin is full of moisture. And it doesn't feel drying because, like, you know, there are some oil blaze cleansers that I have tried before that as soon as I use it on my face and then, like, you know, if I wash it with water, my skin feels very, very dry. And, um, like, you know, it felt like it got stripped. Of its moisture and um, that's actually the reason why I actually love using like you know the virgin coconut oil because it makes my face it makes my skin very hydrated and very moisturized and this is actually the same sensation that I feel after I have used um, Lisa's um, treatment cleanser so um, do you think that you can use this every day well it depends um, on your makeup routine or it depends also on the type of makeup product that you use so if you're someone who uses a ton of like you know long wear formulas especially if you have oily skin because those are the type of formulas that really stay on your skin then by all means um, why not because it really depends on your buying power because it's a little bit pricey um, especially for me like you know the pound is a very very um, um, expensive currency especially if you translate it into Philippine peso but I have to say it's actually worth your money very amazing and do you think that you should buy the towelette it depends on you if you want to but for me I really want this because it serves another purpose for example if you're someone who uses a lot of makeup brushes when you're doing your makeup and you can't really wash your brushes frequently having something like this can really help in maintaining um, you know the cleanliness of your brush head because by just like you know brushing the brush head on this um, like you know in between use can really help you to keep it clean and sanitary most of the time because at least like you know you're removing a lot of the product and even like you know the oils that it has picked up from your face so at least like you know having something like this you can use it in more ways than one aside from using this to cleanse your face you can also use this to cleanse your makeup brush head so i think that's my vlog for today i think i hope that you guys enjoyed this let me just spray my face one more time with this um face mist And I'm just going to pat that into my face. Just to make it more hydrated. And I can feel it toning my skin a little bit. Alright, so that's my vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed me getting to know the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist. And her skin enhancing treatment cleanser i do have to say it's worth your money the packaging is great it's very elegant and they're not flimsy and you don't get a plastic um, um bottle especially for the enhancing mist this is actually quite great so um i do have to say they work very well with me and like you know this is how my skin looks like after i have used these two products everything is very nice and very plump very moisturized and they it feels quite hydrated and I do have to say I don't see any redness on my skin at all because if um, any of the ingredients on these two products would not have worked with my skin type 
my skin would have been very very red right now all right so that's it for me today if you guys have any more questions please leave them down at the comments box and let's have a conversation about it all right thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye bye